I flew my first drone link mission slash flight plan today. Um, I've got two that I've created, one for um, Breeze's Kindy and one for just orbiting our house here in um, Belmont Street. So let's have a look at that one. This is the um, elements of the flight plan, so I'm just going to tap on the orbit and I see that I've got it set to 60 feet for the elevation altitude and goes out to 100, sorry, 60 meters for the height, goes out to 100 meters for a circle. This here is the one I'm tapping on in the center here. This is the settings for the flight plan, so um, that's the area. It won't, it won't activate the flight plan if the drone is outside that orangey-yellow circle. Return to, return to home is the what I want it to do at the end of the flight. This blue line is what we call a an approach, so it takes off and executes a uh, climb and it backs off. I've got it looking back at the house um, using a gimbal command and it uh, flies out to 100 meters away from the house and begins a clockwise uh, clockwise direction orbit. And this is the settings for the approach. And the setting there, it says altitude range. It won't um, start moving horizontally out towards 100 meters until it is uh, minus 4.6 meters below 100, uh, sorry, minus 4.6 meters below 60 meters or plus 4.6 meters above 60 meters. It won't start backing off towards the, um, uh, out towards the 100 meter mark before it starts the orbit until those uh, are met. And down here I've um, done a drone heading, I've got it tracking 180 degrees on the path, so looking backwards behind it as it backs out, then a gimbal I've tilted down to minus 30 to look back at the house. So yeah, we can have a look at that here. Here we go, it's going to do a um, prediction of it, what it would look like. So when it's ready, I'll start playing it. So there it is, it's climbing out to um, uh, 50 metres, 60 metres. Looking over at Sefton Crescent. And once it reaches the 50 meters, 60 meters, it starts to, sorry, 60 meters, it starts to back out to 100 meters from the property. Just speed it up a little bit. When it reaches that point, it uh, then executes a clockwise orbit and focuses the camera on the um, center of the orbit, which I have set for our property. I noticed with the Mavic Mini, there was quite a bit of wind, and it, um, yeah, the little Mini, it did push it around a bit. It didn't quite track perfectly. Uh, but it, it did a reasonably good job, but not not perfectly. I think if you had a um, a more powerful drone, it would be a lot straighter. But for uh, what the mini is, uh, I think you you have to be pretty amazed at what it actually did. And this is a playback. This is showing where the drone is in its orbit.
so it had just gone over Sefton Crescent and it was coming back round to Belmont in its orbit. The area in red, the cone in red, is the field of view for the camera. And down here are the commands. The flight command for the drone, the approach command, the commands for starting and stopping the camera. And there it is, it's reached the end and it's just going to repeat that. So I'll just stop that. So yeah, it's a very cool program and uh, amazing what you can do with it. This is just a simple orbit, but you can um, make flight plans, go down the street, whatever. But you, with this uh, app and how DroneLink works, it must be always connected to the drone in order to work. As soon as a signal is lost, it um, initiates a fail-safe return to home which I think is really good. I did test the return to home function by pushing the return to home button and cancelling out of the mission and it worked fine. Okay, we're gonna do something today we haven't done. Uh, so we're using an app called Drone Link. It's a little scary because it, it links to your drone. Here we go, I have two missions. Orbit the house. Just want to have a look at this. Two components. So.